Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under Take Your Life Back Today show. That would be the channel. Friends, this morning, you don't have to let your past affect your present, and don't definitely let it affect your future. When you keep wondering what could have been or what you should have done differently, here's what happens. Friends, you miss the present moment and cripple your potential in the future. If you are hanging on to negative emotions from an event, a mistake, or a failure in the past, give it to God. Negative emotions will mess with you. They will keep you stuck in the here and now. They will take you where you don't want to go, and they will keep you from be, uh, being the person that God has created you to be. Here's the thing. Now listen up. He wants you to give these feelings to him each and every day. He wants that relationship with you. He wants you to be all that he created you to be. God never wastes your pain when it's given to him. Pleasure without God, without sacred boundaries, will actually leave you emptier than before. And this is a biblical truth. This is experimental truth. The loneliest people in the world are amongst the wealthiest and the most famous who found no boundaries within which to live. That is a fact that I've seen again and again. As your faith is strengthening, you will find that there is no longer the need to have a sense of control, that things will flow as they will, and that you will flow with them to your great delight and to your benefit that flowing is easy God is so much more than we can even imagine he has no limits he offers us more love and more kindness and more grace and more forgiveness than we could ever conceive or imagine on our own friends so many of us carry our guilt our pain and our mistakes around for years because we can't even begin to think of ourselves in a good way we don't believe that God can either so what we have to realize is that God's ability to have love and forgive and restore is not the same as ours we have to hope that our God is going to come through each and every time that we ask him for guidance and directions because as believers, our hope isn't just wishing upon a star or blind faith. Our hope is placed in, in Jesus who overcame this world. One of my favorite verses is John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may find peace. In this, uh, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Today, choose courage, take heart, and remember that Jesus, the object of our faith, has overcome the world. Our hope is rooted in the promises of God. We're not just wishing upon a star. We know our God is going to come through. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope uh, and what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see in Hebrews 11, 1. The one who tries to live each day to its potential is the one who doesn't ever give up. She's the one who's not afraid of working hard for something that matters. He's the one who doesn't let setback stop his momentum. She's the one who is not afraid of the pain of growth. And he's the one who will fight no matter how big or strong his opponent might be. So be willing to face discomfort. What can you do today to break out of your comfort zone with courage? In closing, I know this is such a tough time right now with the pandemic, but I want to uh, think about this. I want you to really think hard. In the hard times, on difficult days, do you express the same confidence in God as you do on the best days of your life and when things are going so perfectly well? The lesson has always stood out uh, to me from Paul as he wrote to the church of uh, Philippi. So listen up to this now. <clears throat> Express confidence in the Lord always. 
Again, I will say, express confidence. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and let the peace of God, which surpasses uh, all comprehension, uh, will ga guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus in Philippians 4, 4 through 7. May God bless each and every one of you today. Call me if you have any questions at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other, take our lives back, be good to yourselves, always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their life forever, and it can change your life forever. forever. Please subscribe to my, my videos on my channel, subscribe to my podcast on iHeartRadio, iTunes, uh, Google Music, and all the other ones that are out there. Because when you subscribe, you get to hear my message each and every day. May God bless each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you later.